Hello everyone and welcome back to Two Point Hospital. When we last left off, we were getting a doctor trained to run a DNA lab, which should help us bring in a lot of cash, which we are severely lacking on. In fact, if we don't get cash this episode, our hospital is probably going to go under, which would not be good. So the stakes are very high right now. We do have a lot of ward patients coming in for the ward, because I think I accepted an emergency in the last video. So let's see how they handle this uh, situation here. Do we even have a nurse? One of them's in the break room. Where's the other one at? Oh, there he is. Okay, cool. Oh, do they not even need to change to like use the beds for this? Dang it. The whole gimmick is that you have to walk all the way around first, which is what our nurse is doing for some reason. Our nurse shouldn't need to change, but I guess they're headed over there. Why is he going over there? Whatever. Look at all the patients that need help. And he's just on a little stroll down the hallway here. Okay. Well, I didn't hire him for his good looks. All right. Is our doctor done with his training? He is. Go over here and work this room. Now, if I reset this, I think it'll force people to requeue, And I think some of them will requeue for the DNA lab. I might be wrong about that. I think I was wrong about that. They're all still queuing for the GP's office. Okay. <laughs> oh, after his stroll, he helped all these patients get in bed, and now he's on a break. Fantastic. Well done, man. Okay, so we're now officially in debt. Oh, that helped us out. We could make a bank here if we handle this correctly. Normally I wouldn't condone curing patients, but in this case I'll make an exception. We've single-handedly, in this one room, broken our record for patients cured in a year right here in like less than three days okay we just made like sixty thousand dollars seventy awesome we're back in the game for a little bit oh we've lost another one um i don't know why people aren't queuing up for the dna lab maybe it's because the uh rate isn't high enough what am i talking about this thing. Maybe it's because our diagnosis threshold needs to be higher, so let's set it to 100% before we send anybody for treatment. We may also have to get rid of this uh, runaround design because the, the amount of time it's taking to get a patient through is becoming a little much. Plus, we still need to make money. Oh, now that we need a doctor in the DNA lab, he's gone to the GP's office. Go to the DNA lab. I don't know what their obsession with the GP office is. I really don't. Look at that, five grand just for diagnosis. Well, that's not bad. And I'm sending them to the GP office. They'll be number 34 in the line. Good God. Okay, we're gonna build another GP office. A more efficient one just over here. Look at all the people that are now leaving that section of the hospital and coming to this one. On the bright side, it'll also bring uh, more foot traffic to the cafe, so more money. Big play moves. Yeah, look at look at all these people just flooding in. That's what we like to see. Okay, somehow this guy abandoned the new GP office I made for him and he went to the old one. I don't know what their obsession with this office in particular is, but it's becoming kind of frustrating. Is it because it's so big? I don't know. They keep coming over here though. Okay, so now that people are dying, the main part we need to worry about is getting money. We just lost another 10,000 that month. We need to be generating more revenue. Okay, I know, wait, you're on a break? How are you on a break? You're sitting at a desk. Are you waiting for a patient to get to you? Oh, yeah, you are. Can we get another doctor, maybe? That might be a good investment. None of them know uh, how to work a DNA lab, though, so that's not great. How much longer are you on break for? Another eight days? I really think you need the DNA lab to start, like, actually processing people. We have people queuing up for it. Dude, this is great. We're making money and people are dying. This is what I wanted to see. All right, cool. Our research completed, so we got $20,000. Uh, you know what? That actually reminds me. Can you, uh, research that again so we get another $20,000? Thanks. No, you're- no, 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 You are not going to back to that GP's office. This one's already filled. I know for a fact you're not going back to the other one. You are gonna stay in the DNA lab. You're gonna work the DNA lab, okay? Thank you. 
Why is this person not going to the TNA lab? Rosie, please, you're wasting good time here. Go in there and pay $5,000 so we can't heal you. Fine. You don't want treatment? Actually, no. Go for treatment. Yeah, we're going to try and heal you with the pharmacy. That sounds like fun. Oh, there's two dying people heading out of the bathroom. Uh, what happened in the bathroom? They were in here for almost an entire year, but they liked the meal, so I guess it was worth it. Why did you go back to the first office? I swear to God, they have an obsession with this one. This one is open and has a high priority. Stop going back to the first office. It was built to not work, and it's not working when you go back to it. Oh my God. Oh, I was wondering why none of the ward patients have been cured yet, and then I realized it's because these ones actually have to change, which probably just took forever for them to do. We have 20 days left to get them cured. It took 70 for them to change. Oh, this whole, like, queue just, like, exploded pretty much. Okay, cool. Well, on that note, what awards did we get from last year? Oh, we actually did get some awards. I wasn't expecting that. We also actually made a profit this year, so hooray! And we're- our hospital is more valuable than Holistic, so we're, we're making progress. We're doing well. How many people died? 16. Not bad. We've had 130 rage quit out of the 213 that visited. Oh my god. Okay, we're making quite a bit of money. What I want to do is I want to get another doctor and I want to train them to work in the DNA lab. I don't know who I just hired. I don't know what their name was. Uh, was it... Oh, I could have him teach them for free. Yeah, let's do that. It'll save me some money. Teach Simon Tornado Genetics. <laughs> what are these names? Alright, this way we can have two doctors rotating in and out of genetics. And we should always have somebody in there once this other guy is trained. <laughs> this is classroom. It's designed so you wouldn't pay attention while you're trying to learn stuff. It's great. I love it. Oh, someone's about to walk by. Pay attention. Did you catch all that? Take notes. This guy's in here just praising Sonic, admiring his beauty. Uh, Georgina's sweat is starting to quit again. She keeps doing that. And she ends up staying anyways. Almost done with the training. Come on. Figure it out. I think he got it. All it took was an Elvis lookalike walking by. One of them should come over here and help out this genetics queue that's built up in the time since. This queue doesn't make any sense. We have a 1, a 2, and then two 4s and a 5. Where's the 3? Are the 4s going to go in at the same time? Do they just tie? What's the tiebreaker supposed to be? Oh, look at that. Like I said, Georgina Sweat has decided to stay after all. She keeps flip-flopping back and forth. It's the long hallways that keep bringing her back. Can we repay the loan that we took out? We can. We should probably do that. Not just to be smart with money, but also so I can take out another loan in case I have to. Oh good, we pulled out a profit of $95 for last month. It's a profit, so I'll take it. Okay, it might be worth it to hire a psychiatrist. Uh, I never intended for psychiatry to be used, but I did still build it in a pretty <laughs> like, stupid looking manner. I, the doctor's just looking at the wall going, hmm, I understand. And then patients just kind of over here pointing up into the sky like you know it's it's pretty great i'm sure there's a lot that can be learned from not seeing your patient when you're talking to them for all the patient notes the doctor's just over here working on a sudoku that's what i would be doing we're not looking great we just lost twelve thousand dollars i really need more people to be sent to the dna lab i don't know how to control that why is there a patient now working behind the counter at the cafe Oh, good, he's adding a little seasoning of his own. Thanks, buddy. Oh, good, there's an epidemic going around. That means I can get money. Okay, well, that is going to be all the time I have for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me play this game. I'm not sure if I'll come back to this one. Um, it is fun, but it's also very slow. <laughs> it's, I may have worn out my creativity with it already, but uh, if you guys want me to come back to it, then I absolutely will. Just uh, let me know, and uh, yeah. Bye for now.